Hi, it's Heart, and welcome back to my channel. So I went through your comments and I saw that you guys wanted me to feature my perfume collection. So I decided today to show you guys my favorite ones. <laughs> I love scents because you know it really transports me to that certain time of my life. So I love to use perfumes on like favorite days like my wedding, my first date with my husband. So it's just very memorable. And there's actually a study about scents and how it triggers a certain memory. So I love, you know, having specific perfumes for certain days. Okay, so basically there are a lot of types of perfume, but we have about three kinds that I four kinds that I will be sharing with you. The very first would be EDPs. These are like the most common ones. EDPs or Eau de Parfum or in short, perfume. <laughs> so these are the ones that are a bit pricey, but it will be definitely worth it because it'll last you the whole day. So my very first would be Tom Ford Fleur de Portofino. I love this because how do I describe? Actually, it's really hard to describe your perfume because it's very personal and it's different for everyone. But for me, this would probably be summer in a bottle because it's fresh, it's citrusy, and it's just very light, but not so serious. It actually reminds me of another favorite, which is Neroli. I had one bottle, but because of my, unfortunately, I don't even want to talk about it. My, it just fell, my whole shelf and everything broke. I lost that, but yeah, Tom Ford, call me. I love that. Yes, so I love this because it's very fresh, it's light. Then I also have another one, this amazing scent. This one's called Fabulous. No, it doesn't really, you don't bring it in your bag like this. This is actually for your wrist, you do this. And that's if you have a lot of time. But when you it actually comes with a smaller bottle. This one's like a little spray. I like it because, you know, when you have a night out and you feel fashion and glamorous, if you have like a major party to go to a ball or an event, this is like the perfect scent. And, you know, you could just actually spray. You don't really need to bring it in your bag. You spray it once and it lasts the whole night. It also comes with a really cute gold funnel, which is really maarte. And that's what we love. All right, so we move on to another favorite. This one is my favorite. Actually, my sister and I's favorite. Hello, Camille, if you're watching. This is from Francis Kirk Dijon. This is super mabango. It's floral. It's also very light. I mean, it's strong, but lighter than strong, if you get what I mean. It's something that I would wear with like a really nice white crisp polo. It's very, how would they say, amoy mayaman, like that. I love it because it's floral but it's very fresh it's very feminine so this i love next ah oh, this is the classic this is number five chanel this is also something that i would envision grace kelly would be wearing uh, this is actually one of the perfumes that was found at marilyn monroe's house before she died so this is really a classic it's very strong it's very musky when you smell it you really smell elegant so elegance in a bottle is Chanel number five, love. Okay, so we move on to the next kind of perfume. This is EDT or Eau de Toilette. This is the one that you also see in the market. It's sometimes cheaper, but not necessarily. It's something that you would buy if you had extra money probably, or if you really, really love the scent. So I would start with Mugler. This one, I remember specifically the day that I discovered this. I was 14, I was at an acting workshop and one of the girls, one of the models, was wearing this scent. So it was so like memorable because it has this distinct spicy yet sweet and strong scent about it. It's super sexy. So it's something that I love. My husband actually loves this. And I would wear this when it's, I don't know, when I just feel like it. Maybe when I'm wearing black or it's winter or whatever, but I wear this all the time. The scent doesn't last the whole day. So it's something that you have to keep spraying on. So this is super love. All right, and my other favorite would be Pen Halligan's Luna. This is something that I love. I mean, it reminds me of my happiest day. I got married, this was my perfume, and this is actually the perfume that I uh, was wearing when my husband and I started to date, so it's very memorable. As you can see, it's almost gone. I had a full bottle before the whole accident happened. We really need to move on for that, but it's just so hard to move on from that. But yeah, Penhaligon, if you're watching me, call me. I'll do anything for you. 
this is love. It's very powdery, very light, it's very fresh. It's something you could really use every day. I think this would also be one of my signature scents. And because it's really so hard to move on, I just really need to talk about another favorite, which is Tartini Chocolat. It was actually one of my first major perfumes when I was growing up. That I would probably be around eight years old. And it just smelled so powdery. It also reminds me a lot of my Penhaligon's Luna. So if you guys can find a bottle, you message me down below because I've been looking for one. Okay, so we move on to cologne. Okay, this would be the most common. We all use it growing up. This would probably be the first bottle that you and I can relate to if we had that. For me, it would be you have Angel's Breath. If you're from the Philippines, you would know they had that in Glorieta. We also had Ninuko. You guys are familiar with this. They usually come in big bottles. They're cheaper because you usually have to spray it over and over again because the alcohol content is higher, so there's less fragrance concentration, so you lose the scent right away, basically. That's how it is. But it's something that you would probably bring when you're traveling or you have a big bag. You don't mind dumping everything there. And it's also fresh. It makes you feel fresh, especially here in the Philippines. It's very humid. It's hot. So, you know, it's a good reminder for us to stay clean, feel fresh, and by spray it all over your body. So my very first would be my adult version of my cologne. It would be Joe Malone. This one's tropical. Cherry Moya or Sherry Mo Moya. Tao lang. Magkakamali. How do you pronounce that? Message me down below. Okay, so this is also really nice. It's very tropical, very fresh, very cute. This is actually something that you could also give to maybe a niece that's starting to become a dalaga. This would also be a good starting scent. So this is something that I would actually give Cheese's daughter. Um, it's very playful. It's not too serious, but yeah, very fresh. Okay, and the next would be... Oh, this reminds me of Paris. I wore this when I went to Paris. The first time I went to Paris, I bought myself a really big bottle. This is from Hermes. It's, it's that. <laughs> How do you pronounce? Rhubarb? Rhubarbe. So this is from Hermes Rhubarb. <laughs> so yeah, this is the color red cologne. So it's super nice. It's fresh. It has a distinct smell. I love it. It's like a signature smell. I think everyone should have like a signature smell. Like when you pass, people remember you. You know, it really does complete the, the look. It really completes your OOTD and it gives you so much character without saying anything. I love it. And yes, my ultimate, ultimate favorite. You'd be surprised. I'm sure some of you. This one is from Bath & Body Works. This is Dark Kiss. I have everything. If they had it in lip balm or I would definitely have the body wash, the lotion. This is something that I use every night. Yes, I love also the lotion and my husband also loves this smell. They don't really sell this anywhere here. Honestly, I find this in Green Hills. So I make other rest to go to Green Hills to hoard all of the lotion and anything darkest I'll get. So I love this. And I don't mind spraying this over and over, all over. If you really want your perfume to last or the fragrance to last for a really long time, I suggest that you spray it on the ends of your hair or all over your outfit. So what I would usually do, I would spray it all over my jacket or my outfit before wearing so that's how it lasts also because perfume is very expensive and you know you also want to test it out like shoes you have to wear them i suggest don't be shy whenever you choose a perfume spray it all over you and on your skin walk around the mall give it time to set and then smell how it's going to be after because that's how you will actually find out if the scent is for you because everybody reacts to the perfume differently. And another thing would, you know, to make everything really memorable, especially if you want to be a collector, you have to really have a specific bottle for a specific person, a specific event, or when you travel because it's really a story. It's like reading a book. It really brings back memories. So when you go to Paris or you had a date here or it's your first date, I mean, it's really nice to have specific bottles for each special occasion. All right, so how to preserve your perfume? I don't know if I'm really credible for this because I just had that accident. Okay, we, we cannot move on. Well, whatever. But yeah, usually, especially when you're in a hot country or a tropical country, it's best that you don't put it directly under the sun. That's not really good. Or maybe some people put it in the refrigerator or in front of the aircon. But if that's not possible, just probably make sure not to open all your perfume all at once. Like you, I think it prolongs the perfume when you keep it in the box and it's sealed. 
in a weird way. It just kind of lasts longer. And I suggest that you use maybe three perfumes at a time. Don't get too excited. So if you really love the scent so much, check out if it comes with a matching cream or hand lotion because it actually works better that way. It kind of really seals. It acts like a sealer to the perfume. So one is for your skin and one is for the fabric or your clothes. So it really smells super strong and lasts the whole day. And that's the goal. And those are my tips. All right, so thank you so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed our short course. Now, if you like this video so much, don't forget to like it. And if you want to learn again, just rewind and get your notebooks ready. I'm open for that. And you know what? I also want to find out your favorite fragrances. I would love to try as well. So comment down below. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the love that you guys have been showing for my channel. I really, truly appreciate it. And if you have any other topics that you want me to feature would be very helpful comment down below because it's a long and a stress no pressure ako because of you guys but it's in a good way so um i'm running out of ideas i would love to find out what you think and what you would like me to feature so that's it i love this episode and i hope you guys loved it too this has been heart i'll see you again next time like and subscribe